welcome back to my channel. So this week's vlog is another Irish travel vlog. I feel like I say this every week, but this week's vlog is a little bit special. It is probably going to be the last Irish travel vlog for at least a couple of weeks because we are a little bit restricted in terms of travel here in Dublin. We are not supposed to leave the county for the next few weeks. So obviously I will be staying put, but that is fine. You'll be seeing a lot more fun cocktail videos to come. I have so much planned, so we will make the most of it. Another reason that I wanted to jump on before we head into the vlog is because I'm doing a really, really fun collaboration with a brand called swappy. So as you probably know, I am an online content creator and that involves a lot of time spent creating content, not only on YouTube, but also on my phone as well. So Swappy are a Finnish based company that have recently launched in Ireland and they sell refurbished and professionally checked phones. And because I was currently in the market for an upgrade for my iPhone, Swappy have kindly gifted me one of their refurbished iPhones for the purposes of review. This is the box that my phone came in and the model that I ordered is the iPhone 11 Pro Max in the rose gold color in 500 gigs of memory, which is a beast of a phone, let me tell you. So a few things that I want to tell you about Swappy. Number one is of course the price. So you're getting your refurbished phone at up to 40% discount off the recommended retail price. All of the phones that Swappy sell are professionally refurbished and checked and are fit for a purpose, but you can choose to order them from different categories. You can go for like new, very good, good, acceptable, and worn. So depending on how much you want to spend, you can choose from those different categories, but they will always be fit for a purpose. The camera won't be damaged, the screen won't be damaged. They're all checked to the highest standard. So the version that I chose was the like new condition. It is exactly Exactly like a new phone. Now Swappy do offer a 12 month warranty and a 14 day return policy, but there is absolutely no problems with this phone. I have had about two weeks of use of it already. As a content creator, I put my phones through the ringer. I am constantly using them, whether it's to film content for vlogs or for my tipsy talk series that you might see on my Patreon that is all filmed on my iPhone. And this phone has performed incredibly well. And it just means I can do my job that bit better. Buying a refurbished phone or essentially a secondhand phone is the most sustainable way to either upgrade or buy your smartphone. It just makes a lot more sense. So it not only saves you money, but it is better for the environment as well. So there you have it. That is my experience with Swappy. I was so, so happy with it. I would definitely recommend it. Not only are you getting it for up to 40% off the recommended retail price, it is better for the environment. It's such a hassle-free process. Swappy have also kindly given me a discount code that I can share with you. I will leave it here on screen and also in the description below. So if you are making a purchase, you can get a little bit of a discount as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the vlog and I will see you at the end. This week's vlog is starting in a slightly different location, if you can already tell. I'm actually in County Clare for the weekend. I came here to spend the weekend with four of my really, really good friends and we're actually staying in, it's like a new accommodation that they've set up. It's called the Beekeepers. Dahi is a musician. A lot of his work has been written and a lot of his songs have been created in places like this around the west coast of Ireland. So himself and Norma put their heads together and they basically brought this space to life. And I mean, wait until you see the surroundings. This is right in the heart of the burn in County Clare. So we arrived in yesterday evening. Myself and Joseph drove from Dublin. We're gonna be here for uh, another two days. Uh, last night, we just chilled out. We all caught up. There was definitely a couple of drinks had. It was so nice. We're gonna go to one of my favorite seafood restaurants in the whole country. I will show you more about that later. I think actually we're going to do some cocktail making later. Yeah, we've got some other fun plans. So I'm going to take you along with me for the weekend. It's actually just starting to rain now, so I'm going to head back inside, but I'm very excited for this weekend. It should be so nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Keepers is a really amazing house in the west of Ireland. Basically, I've spent years and years and years as a musician um, renting places all along the west coast and kind of writing. And it's always been the best thing because you just, the most important thing right now for artists is like no distractions and yeah. like peace and stuff. We have like computers and we have like all the gear that we need. So you don't mm. need to rent a studio. You just need to be like alone and to just work on your own kind of stuff. One of the biggest things that I've always wanted to do was to set up like a really, really nice place for artists mm. to kind of work. And hopefully like the end goal would be that the place is so nice and so inspiring that it would actually add to the art that the person creates. Yeah, and the West is so beautiful. I mean, we're not biased because we're both from here. Yeah, we're allowed, we're allowed to say that. Yeah, and we're my dad's a clear man as well. It's so fabulous. <laughs> I've brought with me all the goods for some whiskey sours. So I've raided my cocktail bar from home. I have my batch of simple syrup, some Angostura, my shakers, I've got two actually, so I'm gonna try and make a batch and do two shakers full. I actually brought the Luxardo cherries because I've never done a whiskey sour with a cherry garnish, but you can do that, so I will. I'm gonna use this as the substitute for the egg white because apparently it is really, really nice, but I haven't done it before, so let's give it a bash. Have you ever made a whiskey sour before? Um, no, I'm intrigued. I've never used chickpeas before. I'm just gonna refresh my memory. Chickpeas? I'm gonna try chickpea juice instead of an egg white because apparently it makes it frothier and obviously a lot of vegans and stuff like that don't want chickpea yeah, juice in it. Yeah, I always feel a bit so, weird about putting in. Yeah. yeah. This is cool. It's called Aquafaba, which sounds before. like a band. Yeah, it does. <laughs> we are Aquafaba! And the smell is... It smells like chickpeas. It smells like chickpeas. <laughs> this I'm is sure it oh, it stinks! Great in it. I think this is gonna work better. And then we'll get the eyes. Other people look cooler when they do this. Let's open the rye. I have a really satisfying lemon squeezer. Wait till you see it. It's, re it's really, really, really nice to use. That's cool. So you can go like this. Oh, look at that! That's perfect! They're oh, really yeah. foamy head. Jeez, it's a lot of work, isn't it? The whiskey sours are a lot of work. But it's worth it. Straight it in. I think in a world where we would have been so if you get your bottle and just run it across, you should get a little just that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Beautiful! And then let's do the maraschino cherry garnish as well, if you want. I'm absolutely wrecked from all the shaking. There's an actual sheen of sweat on me. But this is what we've come up with. So the whiskey sours were a success. The chickpea juice, I have to say, I really didn't think it was gonna work out, but trust the process is what I would say. I think I'm actually gonna do this for a main cocktail video because I'm that impressed with it. bright it's an absolutely glorious Sunday we've been actually just hanging out in the patio area just having uh, a little can and some ice creams and it's been so lovely <laughs> for a swim. <laughs> you look like you're presenting the nude. It was absolutely <laughs> beautiful. I'm let's wearing my dry robe. Let's, let's see the... <laughs> Which I really liked. Well, as you know, I'm a big fan of a sea swim. Love the cold water, <laughs> so I do.
have it i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog like i mentioned in the beginning of the video it will be the last irish travel vlog for a couple of weeks uh, while we lay low here in dublin as per the government guidelines so it is all good i have a lot of cocktail videos that i want to catch up on um, do let me know in the comments which cocktails you would like to see me make next because i am planning all of that right now if you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more irish travel vlogs i will link a playlist up here you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!